interviewing Renegade Redeemed and his wife, Mrs. Jamie, from Kingdom Grind Music, today on Coffee with Conrad. Winning. Well, on the day that this interview airs, will be May 9th, 2014, the year of our Lord Jesus Christ, had the privilege of interviewing Ryan, or Renegade Redeem from Kingdom Grime Music, uh, and his wife, Mrs. Jamie. They're going to be headlining at the Jesus Jam Texas event this Memorial Day, May 26th, in Lampasas. It's an all-day free concert, Christian concert all day. Karaoke all the way to Kingdom Brian music, which is rap. We got, dude, we have Shoregrass Prairie. We have Just Us Gospel Quartet. We've got First United Methodist Church. We've got Tondra. We've got The Point. We've got Mitch and Amanda from Holy Desperation. And then we're topping it all off with Kingdom Brian music. Also, we're, we've got the car show. The Holy Rollers Car Club is going to be there. Also, the Christian Motorcycle Association. So hopefully I didn't forget anybody. It's been kind of crazy. So um, there's going to be some veteran testimonies. It's going to be a fun-filled, packed day, lifting up the name of Jesus. And it's all to benefit the Wounded Warrior Project. Okay, now I'm going to do a quick shout-out to this last week's top contributor, can tributor which is john's java house copper's cove and you know what saturday uh we're going to be there for some christian karaoke max from praise cafe and max and scott they're going to set up and do some christian karaoke there at john's java house saturday night may 10th so be there i'm going to play a uh, promo for john then i'm going to play the can tributor commercial and then we're going to get to the interview Hi, this is John with John Shaba House having coffee with Conrad. Amen. I like it. That was great. Now it's time to honor our can tributors. These are the nice folks that place the donation cans in their place of business to support the Wounded Warrior Project. Can tributor Lamb Passes Rice. Country Kitchen. Giovanni's. Security Finance. The Mower Shop. The County Seat. Alfredo's. John's Java House. Discount Gas in Lamp Passes. Eve's Cafe. Rutland's Fashion and Western Wear. Medina's Famous Mexican Restaurant. Fort Hood Auto Paint and Body. Little Tex Restaurant, Copper's Cove. Jesus Jam Texas thanks you so much for being a can tributor supporting the Wounded Warrior Project. So anyway, I've been following um, Ryan. Yeah, it's kind of a long story. Ryan and Mrs. Jamie and Kingdom Brian Music. I don't even know. For a long time now, um, his dad, um, I was sitting behind him at church and it's just like God says, you've got to talk to this guy. And, Turns out, you know, I was supposed to talk to that guy. <laughs> anyway, we met we met them through a, a you know a God in, God incidences everywhere, and it turns out um, we watched Ryan and Miss Jamie uh, minister a few times, and there's something about whenever they minister live, it's live that 
you feel the anointing happen. Um, we went. Uh, I'm gonna pl I'm gonna play a little promo video I did before I do the in interview. We went to San Antonio to watch them minister at the burn event in San Antonio, which is a 24-hour praise and worship thing. And they were supposed to go on at two in the morning, and uh, we drove all the way. It's like a three-hour drive there or something. And we we're like, you know, we're supposed to do this. We just knew we were supposed to, so we went down there. And they were supposed to go on at two, and there was it was just like we were tired. I mean, we worked all day, um, and uh, they were supposed to go on at two. Well, it turns out the event was an hour behind, so we waited a whole hour. We were pra we were practicing. Our Sermon on the Mount, Christianity, by walking in love and humility, by waiting that whole hour. We didn't know that until, until you know, it was like almost three that they were an hour behind. So, anyway, um, the place was pretty much dead. Let's just be honest. And I had brought my cell phone. I had brought some some video cameras. It was kind of dark. You'll notice from watching the video that it is. It's a dark thing. They had just a little bit of light. But uh, when when uh, Renegade Redeemed and Mrs. Jamie got up there, the place woke up for Jesus. The anointing came, and it was like, wow. I don't know. I'm just going to play the clip here, and you'll maybe you'll get a taste of what it was like that night. But the whole place woke up for Jesus. It was awesome. <laughs> But the person you see wasn't the same person that back in 2009 and years prior. But today, I'm a new creation. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and the 17th verse, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. That's exactly what God did in my life. He came in my life, came into my heart, took out all those desires that I had to go out and sin and smoke and drink and cuss and watch this and watch that, go to the clubs. He took all that out. He replaced it with love, peace, joy, patience, self-control, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness. Amen. Yeah. He replaced it with himself. Jesus lives in me. Now, I know where we three were gathered, he's in the midst, but we are the temple of God. We are. Jesus lives within us. This is the body of Christ. This is the church that Jesus Christ is coming back to get. He ain't coming back to get a denomination. He ain't coming back to get a religion. And he sure ain't coming back to get a building. You gotta love that coffee with Conrad promo. I love it. That was a Bible study we're having with Kingdom Cry Music. Great day. Lots of fun. Lots of learning. Lots of inspiration. Lots of praising God going on that day. Anyway, um, I got a busy day, so I'm gonna hop right to the interview right now. Sit back and relax and listen to a couple of brutally honest, heartfelt testimonies for people that love Jesus that are sold out, and they're gonna be headlining at the Jesus Jam Texas event. It's Kingdom Cry Music. Renegade Redeem with his wife, Mrs. Jamie. Hey, everybody. Welcome again to another edition of Coffee with Conrad. 
and I'm on the Skype call with Renegade Redeemed and Mrs. Jamie from Kingdom Grime Music. The number four EVA redeem.com is where you can find them. How are you guys doing? Doing good, sir. How are we doing? Dude, I'm so busy. Amen. <laughs> I got you. I, I'm old, so I walk into a room and I forget why. I, I'm just doing it like 10 times a day now. Like, why am, <laughs> why am I in this room? You know, so yeah. it's something that has to do with Jesus Jam. Everything I do has to do with Jesus Jam Texas. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to you guys ministering at the Jesus Jam Texas event. A lot of stuff going on. Mitch and Amanda are headed from South Carolina. That's pretty fun to watch. You, you see me? Yeah. Uh, I see you posting up the videos. Yeah, keeping in track with them. Uh, they're on a, what, the third day or fourth day? Something like that. I think yeah. it's, a, you know, so, yeah, kind of keeping track with them. I'm not, I'm not watching every video, but I see you posting them up, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying that's to. Well, that they're doing that. I think that's awesome. It's, I'm like, Jesus damn, Jesus damn, Jesus. <laughs> so what have you guys been up to? Uh, not much, man. Um. I would take the webcam and show you, but behind us, there are boxes. We're in the middle of moving, so, you know, we have uh, Amen. that getting situated. And um, welcome by faith. Amen. Let's, let's say that. That's the walk. All right, so I like to share testimonies on the show. Um, you have a – you guys both actually have some interesting testimonies. You guys want both want to share? So we, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, man. I never get tired of testimonies. That's right. Amen. Amen. I can definitely get mine. Um, you're down? My wife is down. So um, we can start with me. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, um, Renegade Redeemed. Um, I wasn't always saved. I, uh, let me see. Back in 2009, in the years prior, I was caught up in drugs, alcohol, um, the worldly hip hop music. Uh, I was all about that lifestyle. Everything that I saw in the videos and I heard on the radio and I, and, um, I heard, um, people who, who were, I was hanging out with, I, I wanted to be that. So, uh, I did my best to, to dress the part, act the part, be the part. Um, I wanted everybody to like me. And, uh, I saw that all those rappers, they had all the money, they had all the women, they can do whatever they want, they can smoke this, they can drink that, they can go to the club, so I was like, yes, I gotta be that, that's what's happening, that's what's hot, so I have to do it. So I was all about that scene for quite a while, and I was doing music too, that was uh, glorifying flesh, glorifying sin, I was basically uh, one of Satan's puppets, I was all stringed up for him, man. And um, it took one time of my parents going through a divorce in a, in a situation like that. And my dad went to a spiritual growth center. And um, it was also a church. And he invited us out to come and see him one day. And it was a, a Sunday service. And uh, we just wanted to go to support him because uh, mom was like, either you change or we're getting divorced. That's it. I didn't want my parents to get a divorce. I love them very much. But, hey, things happen. So um, he invited us to go and see him. We saw him. And um, they have this time within that church uh, called testimony time, basically what we're doing, I'm doing here now. And um, they uh, got some guys, they came up, gave their testimony of where they were at in the world, where they're at now, and what they're going to do. And then uh, I don't know where, clear blue, they called my pops up. And uh, at the time, my wife, who is my wife now, she was my girlfriend then, and my mother was there. And um, they called him up, and I'm looking directly at him, like, why would they call him up? So, I mean, he just got up there and, and just completely started talking about how God changed his life, how uh, Jesus Christ saved him and took him away from this and took him away from that. And uh, tears started flowing. And, um, man, it just hit me hard right, right then and there. And then all through that service, God started working on my heart and revealed himself in a way uh, only to me that I could really understand. And uh, from that day forward, I gave, my, I gave my life to the Lord that day and uh, repented of all my sins and asked Jesus uh, Christ to be my Lord and Savior, and I've been living for Him ever since. And then I started in ministry in 2010, started using the gift that God has given me to glorify Him, which was the purpose in the first place. I mean, everything, all the revelation that I was supposed to get that I wasn't getting while I was unsaved and, 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 and worldly and, and whatnot, I got. So uh, um, from, from then, I've been running to uh, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So all Amen. Good. Praise be to God, brother. Amen. You know, uh, speaking of testimonies, see how powerful they are? You were listening to a testimony, and it changed your life. 
That's yeah. right. That's why I do these. <laughs> That's right. Because you you knew him before and after, and your your dad's yeah. on fire, man. Your dad is is uh, well. You are. I mean, you're you you all are. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. You know? Anyway. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Jamie. Yes. You got you got a testimony you want to share with us? I do. All right. Well, Ryan, when he gave his life to Christ at the altar, it wasn't as easy for me. Because um, growing up in my household, you know, I didn't go to church or anything like that. I never heard of Jesus or anything like that. And um, when I had first met Ryan, of course, I met him before Christ. And um, there was a time where I was in the Air Force. And before I went into the Air Force, um, all the partying and stuff Ryan did, it really affected me a lot. You know, affected. It was just stuff rooted all the way from my childhood, you know. And that just added more fuel to the fire. So when I went in the Air Force, I wanted to take revenge, <laughs> you know, basically out, out on Ryan. You know, I still loved him and cared about him, but I, I didn't treat him how I should have treated him, you know. And uh, as the old saying go, two wrongs don't make a right. Well, when I was, you know, trying to make a wrong, it just made the whole situation worse you know, which was basically, it was just unforgiveness, you know, through all that. And I ended up cheating on my boyfriend at the time. Well, actually he was my, my fiance. He asked me to marry him before I went in the air force. Um, I ended up cheating on him and I ended up getting a, a, a sexually transmitted disease that was incurable. Um, when we had went to, I went to the altar that, um, that night, that service with Ryan but I still didn't give my life to Christ because I still had so much hate and still so much unforgiveness in my heart. And it was actually later on that night, I asked God, um, it was in my restroom at my house, at our house we were living in um, with his mom at the time. And I asked God if he really is the God of forgiving God as the, how this pastor was talking about in that service. Um, I asked him, I said, please take this shame away from me. You know, I really do want to forgive Ryan for what he did. And I just want to let this go and just cleanse me, you know, just cure me from this. And I told him if he did, I would serve him for the rest of my life. I mean, you know, if everyone says he's such a good guy and that he's so forgiving, I should be able to forgive somebody else. Mm-hmm. And it was literally a week later, I was cured from that disease. I mean, it was gone, it was disappeared. And I couldn't. I couldn't help but serve him. You know, right, my God right. loves me, you know, Amen. he forgives me. And, you know, Amen. through that, I was able to forgive my, now my husband, I'm able to forgive that and move on. And, you know, God is just, he's awesome. If I may say, if you don't mind, yep. um, just sitting here and being able to talk with you um, and, and sharing our testimonies, that's humbling enough for me. I'll just be yeah. honest and I'll be, I'll be personal. Because um, we all go through things in, in, in life, and sometimes it even takes a moment like this for us to, you know, we do most of the ministering. You know, sometimes we need to sit down and, and, and listen to ourselves at times and get ministered to. So this is a very humbling situation, and, yeah. and this is the God that we serve. Whenever someone is a certain way and unsaved and, and dirty and just sinful, God comes in and completely changes them. There, There's evidence, so you're going to see that. It's not just a one-time deal where, oh, I believe, and then you go about your business and you're doing the same thing all over again, and nothing ever happens, no no change comes about or anything. You know, God will come into somebody's life like this and really say, okay, impacted. you want me to show you who I am? Well, boom, here I am. Sometimes it's a process for different people, and I'm not holding back on that, but sometimes it is instant. Um God is good and he's worthy of all that we can give and more. Yeah. And uh, we just praise him, man. To God be all the glory. He's Amen. Amen. Yeah, well, thanks for sharing your testimony. You know, it, it's interesting. You remember when we went to the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and you were talking yeah. to the kids there. You know, I I was just like, some of the kids knew you and you're not even from Lampasas. You're from over there in Cove. And yeah. it, this one kid comes up. And just runs up behind Ryan and gives him a hug. Yeah, and I'm like going, you know, you're making an impact, dude. Amen. You know, you guys both are. And then the little girl comes up and hugs you, Mrs. Jamie. Remember that? <laughs> I mean, you guys, you didn't know they were even went to that school. No, no clue. <laughs> no clue. Yeah. Yes. So I just want to say what you guys are doing is really, you know, 
I don't know how to say you're planting seeds of, you know, you're, you're sharing a love of Christ. And then, yeah. You know, he changed you and your, your changed life is changing other people's lives. And we're, you know, we're all over here at Conrad Rocks. We're all behind you, man. I know. You know, you know and very appreciative of that. Amen. So, um, now you have some upcoming events before Jesus Jam. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. What do you What do you got going on before Jesus? If you guys want to see them before Jesus Jam, you better grab a pen and write this down. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ready. Yes. One, two. Okay. Go. <laughs> yes. Um, on the 18th of May, there is an event here in Coppers Cove, Texas, called the Rabbit Fest, and it starts from the 15th, which is a Thursday, all the way to the 18th, which is a Sunday. Is a Sunday. And um, we will be ministering through music um, out at the Rabbit Fest. Um, I know it costs to get in, um, but I think it's per car load, yes, and it, it covers the whole entire uh, whole entire um, Thursday through Sunday. Um, but the carnival is a separate price, and you get a wristband and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I, it's it's not much for the car load to come in and, and, and see us on Sunday. And we go on from one to two p.m. There's other um, people who will be doing entertainment out there, and uh, I praise God for this for um, the opportunity to to stand amongst so many people because there are a lot of people that walk those grounds out there on the, the city park in Coppers yes. Cove, Texas. So the gospel of Jesus Christ will be able to get preached course through music but also through word a way that is gonna um i know touch a lot of people and i'm blessed to have that opportunity uh may 24th at the activity center downtown colleen um address escapes me but of course it's all on our um website there's an event called the gathering and it's basically just getting um the community of colleen texas and if any other parts in the 254 area, our Central Texas wants to come together. They're more than welcomed. Um, but it's just basically getting the community of Colleen to come together and do something positive for the community. Yeah. Because there's so much going <clears throat> going around that's negative. There's so much and, um, negativity. We just want to see something positive. So there's a lot of artists that are coming together Christian-wise. And uh, they're even uh, getting some um, other local artists, artists that are within Colleen. So uh, it's just to do something positive for the community, and it's called The Gathering. It's on the 24th. And, uh, of course, Jesus Jam, Texas. Yes. Mar uh, Memorial Day, May 26th. Jesus Jam. We're excited about <laughs> that. But all of our events, we have uh, others, too. People can keep uh, keep in contact with us and follow our events on foreverredeemed.com slash events. That's number 4 E V A redeemed R E D E E M E D dot com slash events. And you can keep contact with all our events coming up and in the future and whatnot. So Amen. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with you too. You have a, a Kingdom Grime Music Facebook page or something. Yeah, is it a Forever Redeemed group? It's a it's a Forever Redeemed yeah. Uh, uh, ministry slash KGM. It's yeah. the ministries page slash music page. Mm -hmm. That's just on Facebook.com slash for E V A redeemed. So, yep. And you're also on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Forever redeemed. Yes, sir. For EVA redeemed. Yep. All right. I'll put it all on the show notes. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being a part of, you know, my life. We love you very much. We're excited about what God's doing in your life. Amen. Amen. I do Amen. want to say that I am having coffee and I'm talking with Conrad. Amen. So literally we are doing it. I'm having cell phone with KG. I don't have a drink. <laughs> All right. God, God bless you guys. All right. God bless you too, man. Love we'll, you. We'll talk to you later. Amen. God bless. Well, there you have it. There was the interview with Renegade Redeem, Mrs. Jamie from Kingdom Grime Music, the number 4EVARedeem.com, where you can find all their social media, all their stuff. You can get their music. Check it out. Now, um... Let's see, what am I going to do on the way out? I think I'm going to play one of their loops on the way out. Till we meet again, dig deeper, go higher. All about wealth.